Hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com and welcome you to another video on SEO. Have you ever wondered why you're still stuck on the second page of Google despite all your SEO effort, whether it's on page, off page, or even technical SEO? You've tried so hard building lots of links, putting in all your effort into content, but still, no matter what you're doing, you're not achieving the first page ranking results. In this video, I'll explain to you the reason why. This is known as black sheep effect, is a term coined by one of the famous SEO professional, Matt Diggity, which you know is here, right? It's which is written in his one of his articles. I'll leave the link in the description so you can go through it again. Like basically, um, you know, being a black sheep basically means um, you're having something which is not the same as others in the you know search results. For example, if the majority of the content ranking on the first page um, have let's say 20 backlinks or 20 to 25 on the average and your content suddenly you know out of the blue has let's say 50 backlinks right now that is something like a black sheep right you're basically not um, blending in with the content at all with the, all the search results ranking the first page in that case instead of ranking you higher Google will you know um, like kind of a little bit of penalize you right so what are the things to look for you know to be considered as a black sheep, right? So number one is the number of backlinks, right? Number of backlinks pointing to your site, pointing to your site or page. Actually, it would be page, right? Because it is a page, uh, it would be your page which will rank, right? Not your overall site. So the number of backlinks pointing to your page, right? Um, you basically would want to fall in the average, not lesser or, and not higher, right? Number two, is the word count, word count on your content, right? Let's say the majority of the contents are having, let's say, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 words, and suddenly, you know, your content has, let's say, 10,000 words, right? Sure, you're trying to provide the most valuable things to the users, but uh, for a particular topic, maybe 10,000 words might prove to be too much, right? You, you may, in the process, you may, you know, add a couple of more irrelevant things to it which you, instead of help you rank higher um, will you know give a negative impact on your ranking right so the word count is something you need to keep into consideration and the third things is um, basically like uh, you know the age of domain right age of domain ranking so let's say if the majority of the content ranking the first page has an age of their domain age are basically let's say two to five years and your site is basically let's say just one year old then you will find it a hard time to rank on the first page right because um, Google also trusts sites with the older age, uh, domain age right so this is also something you, you need to keep in mind and the fourth point is the um, topics being discussed topics being discussed uh, let's say you know um, let's say you want to rank for a keyword, what is SEO? And the majority of the content ranking the first page discuss how search engines work, but your content doesn't. Now, what, what does that imply to Google? It implies to Google that your content is, doesn't satisfy what users are looking, right? Because if nine out of 10 the results have written the content or the topic of how search engines work, Google expects your content to have that things as well, right? Or let's say, um, your content discuss about many of the things which others have not discussed on their content. This again can also lead to irrelevancy and thereby decrease your ranking, right? So you would need to make sure that you discuss all the commonly discussed topic among the uh, search results, right? And don't go too overboard by, you know, discuss other things which are not relevant or completely, you know, off the topic, right? You need to make sure that as well. And there are a bunch of other factors that you need to look for, right? But basically, these are the four main things that you can consider whether you are back black sheep or not, right? And this particular um, article has written so well, I'll just leave the link in the description so you can go through it once again. Now, coming on to, you know, how to really identify all these things, right? In, let's say in a matter of minutes or seconds. Because, for example, word count, if you would just want to know the average word count, right, or then how many words um, 
are be, you know being considered for the content rank in the first page then you will basically need to analyze each and every page right which will again takes lots of let's say you know times and effort right or leave alone the word count the number of backlinks right this will again uh, cost you sometimes if you don't have any seo tools right some of the seo tools for example edge reps will help analyze your number of backlinks or competitors which will help you in this case or even the age of domain right something like that so um there's basically a, a free tool right which i've used a lot and i've talked about in my in many of my videos that is cognitive seo right which will essentially helps analyze um the things your competitors are doing in, when you know when they rank on the first page this tool can help you analyze the number of backlinks word count right and topics uh, let's say being discussed you can have a look at this as well by analyzing the different content rank on the first page age of the domain is something which is pretty difficult to de determine but you can you know have a look from there let's say who is information right or something like that which shouldn't be a much a problem here but basically here word count number of backlinks are basically the two most important thing that you should be looking for so what you can do is let's say you want to rank for a keyword what is seo right so you can enter it in into the tool and write what is seo and click on analyze right obviously you don't have to use this tool you can do everything manually right let's say number of backlinks you can enter into you know the competitor page right or content and check on each how many backlinks they're ranking right on the word count you can check on you know their the content and you can put in your word count something like that and even topics being discussed okay so once you have put in your competitor uh, the your the keyword that you want to rank for you can just go to click on ranking analysis which again this will help you see let's say the number of words right these were also very important you can uh, just add on and you know divide by 10 right if you just want the, the, the first 10 results you can also go through the 20 here in fact the tool has already calculated for you let's say the number of words count here is 2793 and the average um, domain to url is 1.1k right and the average url to the site is 312.5k again this is just an average value right you may want to have something a little bit lesser or higher but you know the word count is also something you should be taking into consideration so you can use this tool to find the average of you know the majority of the things right so you you can make sure that um you don't be a black sheep right among all those uh, top 10 ranking results so hope you find this video valuable if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section i'll try to answer them as possible all right and if you have any topic that you would like me to discuss or touch upon make sure to comment in the section comment section as well right and i'll uh, make a video on that that's all for the video thank you for watching see you in the next video